Good kitten internet, and before beginning, I wanted to start with an apology. The audio in the last few videos have been really bad. I really don't know why. I, I mean, right now I'm not working. I'm actually in dealing with medical leave, and as a result, I'm not moving my microphone around. So it's been plugged in the entire time, and all of a sudden the audio quality went to utter garbage. Um, so I tweaked my settings a bit. I'm no longer peaking, although I'm coming really close. And I also increased the audio from the game itself, because it's been really quiet, and I didn't want it that quiet. <sighs> Grumble. I don't know why that was happening. Anyway, where we last left off, we have cannon in our party now. Cannon is cannon. Or I should... Bernadette, I should say. And maybe after all of the spoilers are done, I'll show the entire family tree. There's actually, in the fan work, in, not fan work, uh, the fan guide, the 20th anniversary fan guide for Wild Arms, there's actually a family tree for uh, Canon and the sword matches herself, uh, Anastasia. Anastasia. Anyway. We've got stuff that I want to do. So, you'll now notice that we have a radar. This is actually Cannon's ability. So we can, for instance, so let's see, the green dot is here. I think this is actually where the coffin of a uh, hundred eyes are, which is where we're supposed to go next plot-wise. I don't want to go to plot though. There's an item over here. Hmm. We can actually make it there. I mean, this is the point of the game. I'm not paying attention to any guides or anything at this point. So the way I'm doing this, so you might be wondering why I keep teleporting and then going into, I'm moving the hovercraft around is what it is. This is Illsville Prison. And that's an item. Just a bullet load, eh. I was curious. Also, I'm really curious to see what I can do in here. Nope, oh, that's just the entrance. Hmm. I wonder if there's a reason to go back there. I don't remember any, but it's been long enough in the game where I don't remember much of anything anymore. Let's keep exploring. That big land mass. What is that land mass anyway? I have no idea. Looks like later on in the game. Oh, I think I know what this is. Yeah, we can't get here yet. Hopefully, this isn't a terrible battle or anything. Oh, Ashley's not. Okay, hold on a moment. Um. Save state, run away, I need to get Ashley forgetful again. Sorry about that, I forgot that that got reset. But before I do anything else... Oh, I can't actually... Ugh, that's annoying. Just need to find a beach for me to get off at. Any beach in a storm. No beaches. Yeah, for being able to go into the open sea, this hovercraft is remarkably useless. Just because there's so few beaches in this game. So at least one next Maria. Because I am actually going to want to deal with some random encounters. Hopefully I won't have to do this for too much longer. Uh, looking at the guide, I'm about two-thirds of the way through having to do this. 
Also, there's stuff here. Ooh, duplicator, holy crap. Okay. Three man traps, just what I wanted. So, fun fact, Ashley's now high enough level for me to be able to do this. Where he'll be guaranteed to be the one to get hit by the amnesia this way. So, I think the way order is going to end up going is like this, but I'm assuming at the moment cannon's significantly slower due to being pretty low level. Did I actually give cannon her personal skills? Okay, yeah, cannon's still slower than Tim. I'll check personal skills now, because if I didn't, whoops. I really don't remember what I did last night, because it was way too late at night. Um, not items. Yeah, your luck is worst. That's normal. No, I did not. Let's go do that now. Well, I wanted to go back to Maria for the hovercraft anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah. Another thing I wanted to do is actually go back to the bakery that Ashley's from, because I haven't done that in a while. Hi, Marina. She says directly to Ashley. Ooh. That's gotta hurt. It's like, if Ashley talks, it's like, you've been, I mean, Ashley's been so emotionally distant as you're talking to Ashley. Everybody else is like, oh, big guy's not here. Did you not bring him today? All right. Okay, now that we have that, um, I'm thinking a parameter maybe? You know, parameter is kind of my default go-to for a lot of things, because it's really useful. Um, up physical attack and might not be a bad idea either, though, because she's really weak and she only has physical attacks. Let's go with up parameter for now. Yep, nobody else needs any points at the moment. Okay. Got that. I'm going to save again. And yes, I did back up my memory card. I might have missed a memory card backup. I really hope not. Fifteen, nineteen. No, yeah, well, no. Actually, that might actually be about right. So I think I'm just not getting as many save points because this game is not great on having timely save points. That's for sure. Okay. Um. So, let's continue exploring, because that's what I feel like doing today. I don't feel like progressing plot. So that's Hill's Hail Prison, we know that. We can't go around that island. What about that island way up to the north? Way up north? By the way, how it goes? I still have this same kitty curled up in my lap. That's why there's no picture of this to my left. Or above me. It's my left, but... It's up there. There. Yeah, you can now see where the cutoff is for the camera. Alright. Olvader. Get Olvader. You drop big berries, but you can only pick pocket meal berries, so doesn't matter.
Bzap. Bzap. Punch. I really haven't used Cannon all that much. <sighs> Wonder if she's actually a good character. Now that I'm appropriately leveling her, I guess you would say. Uh, oh, there is a beach here. Interesting. I don't know if this is a really bad idea or not, but I'm doing it anyway. I'll save state just in case. Meow. Duplicator. Can't be all that bad, right? For reference, this is actually the place... Oh, I need to go up on the ledge. Um, this is actually the place that Loka started at. Just for some reason, I can't find the city. Uh, what the hell are you? Fafnir. Fafnir. Uh, I can pickpocket a big berry. So that probably means it's worth trying to pickpocket. Means you need Fendalon. Oh, yeah, is it weak against anything? Air. Oh, that's right. I need to. Oh, I don't have enough force points because she's not even level 20. Um, pickpocket. Sound claw. One. Zap. Oh, that was not actually all that hard. They're only level 25, huh? Yeah, unfortunately, my grinding that was apparently not even needed kind of messed me up a bit. There we go. Got a big berry. I used up so many of those in the battle, I really need more. Cannon leveled up, cool. I really need her to be level 20. Just so she can actually use her abilities. On round one. It's gonna be a while before Cannon. Okay, so Cannon got... Mm, 156 hit points on that level. Okay. And I know that I actually recorded how many hit points that she got, that she had at level 14. Scapegoat, nice. Teleport back to the hovercraft because I'm not doing anything else with it. Right. It's hard to control both of these sticks at once. This is probably a dangerous island. Oh, it's the Monster Island! Beware, Monster Island. I saved, it's fine. I actually know what this island is. Doppelgangers! Remember, that's what we were told the things that were around uh, that Brad were. So, the fun thing with doppelgangers is that they're really easy to kill. But they're worth a decent amount of XP, I guess. Not particularly weak against anything, or wrong against anything for that matter. Just gonna you know, hit them, and you can't steal anything from them. Um, yeah, I can steal a heal berry. I don't care about heal berries. Was that? All right, who are you installing? 
They are now fighting Tim. So yeah, basically the doppelgangers can steal the abilities of one of your characters and then the next turn they actually start fighting like them. They don't have the same hit points though, luckily. Holy crap, that would be bad. Um, what else is actually on Monster Island? Land anemones. Um, I can steal revive fruits from them, but they're resistant to every element. Okay, so that means cannon. You need to wear something else. I'll give you mittens, just because. These will actually be difficult enemies. Especially when they do things like that. Could let Cannon actually get a chance to increase force and maybe start using her gats. That's actually a pretty, pretty, pretty good idea now that I think about it. Ray Xander. Ow. Okay, I might need to... Yeah, I'm okay, I guess. Alright, um, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna double check how Cannon's um, unlocks work. Actually, I'm going to let the battle roll long enough for Cannon to actually go. Ah, I've sparked Arc Kick. Alright, let's find out. Cannon Spark. No, I meant what I said, dang it. How to use cannon. Do, 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 do. I have to have good luck. Currently, her luck is worst, so that's always fun. Arc kick was the thing I was trying to spark before. I think I now need to use. Yeah, I need to use level 2 abilities now. Or just not the level 1 abilities. So, what do you have now? So you have left edge, pike kick, drive cut, wire fist, arc kick. Okay, so to spawn vortex cut, I need to use pike kick or drive cut. The higher force point ability that I use, the better off it ends up being. As in the faster it will unlock. Yes, defense up as much as you can, please. I want cannon to be dealing next to nothing in damage. Yeah, our kick doesn't actually spark anything, strangely enough. Weird. Uh, I need pipe kick or drive cut, that's right. Xander. I love how Tim just takes nothing. Tim hit 31. Okay. Alright. Um, what else is actually here, anyway? So I thought there's some specific monster that I wanted to check out. Um, not them. Not them, although that would be very profitable. Already encountered. I just received a message. I'm guessing that's a YouTube comment. Um, uh, land an enemy. 
Yep. Okay. This is not where I was thinking. So, there is no arena in this one, for reference, in this Wild Arms game. Looks like a little, like, um, Bermuda Triangle type thing. Um, there's no arena in this one. However, there are islands that have the arena enemies in it. And it's the ruins of the arena. I think that might be this over here. Doing electricity. Thor ring. Zap. Zap. Jump. For zero. Given that they're doing zero, maybe I should actually have just had Tim first aid. Anyway, this is the little Bermuda Triangle area. Um, what is it that we're by right now? Ah, Silver Region. Got it. Just this section that has nothing in it right now. Nothing. Nothing. See, the radar is actually accurate, so I don't need to worry about constantly having to ping to see if there's stuff here. The radar will actually tell me when stuff is here. Flaritees. Do you actually have anything? You know, a lot of things divide into clarities. Clarity. Um, yes, actually. They drop things. I've never had them drop anything. Okay. Not that. I keep doing that. I really want the accessory to be the bottom thing instead of the guardian. And we'll first aid. Get everybody back up. I know that means they won't all be dead. That's fine. Blizzard breath. Blah. Ooh, you might actually hurt cannon. And eh, we're fine. And that will heal everybody up. Cool. Oh, right. I should have had cannon kill them. Forgot. Also, I wanted to... Ooh, cannon hit 17. Uh, that means that I can go back and get another um, FP up type thing. How are we doing on stats? Is cannon faster yet? Uh, response 113. Yeah, not so much. Also, my luck is terrible right now. Uh, yeah, I got two notifications on my phone. I should probably look at that. How are we doing on time? We're at 24 minutes and I've done nothing cool. Um... <sighs> Political polling. And apparently the other notice was hurricane? Really? I didn't think that was giving notices over here. Uh, the notice over here was the push poll, the text message. Got it. Okay. Cool. We can deal with that later. Seriously, I just... Oh, it seems to said be off my lap. No! My lap! Yeah, this is my tablet that you see, for reference. Or one of them, because I have a new one that's arriving. Yeah, this is Mount Chug Chug. As in the exit to Mount Chug Chug. I'm just grabbing the item while we're here. Items, plural. I mean, this basically gives me an excuse to level up cannon and actually get things. Especially at. Nice. 
And I will be using the apples, but I'm waiting until I know I don't need to use them on um, Ashley, because we still have another tough fight coming for Ashley, and I don't remember if it's a magic fight or not. If it's a magic fight, using the sorcery apples means that... Oh, I didn't need to cancel that. Uh, it means that I don't need to keep doing that. Oh, this is actually in the water? Hmm. Teleport hovercraft, please. Let's continue our tour of the dark region. The Bermuda Triangle. I think the, if that island wasn't it, this island might be. Nope, that's just a really tall plateau with no way to enter. Cool. I'm pretty sure the arena stuff is actually accessible at this point of the game. But I'm only pretty sure. I really don't remember a lot of things about Wild Arms 2. Wild Arms 3 has at least been more recent since I'd last played it. Because I beat Wild Arms 2 after playing it for about a year, year, year and a half. But I went back and actually beat even more of it, if that makes any sense. Um, Wild Arms 3 has a... 100 floor long dungeon and that takes and there's no save point in it it takes a long time to do and yes i know i don't have cannon equipped with the ring that was actually intentional because there's no reason for me to worry about that actually uh which one do i need to use I always forget for some reason. I need to use uh, Drive Cut. Okay, cool. That's the one I wanted. Defend, first aid, might as well. Keep Cannon happy on health. Yeah, Drive Cut gives me a 1 in 16 chance of unlocking it. Of unlocking Vortex Cut, which is the next one. And a 1 in 48 chance of unlocking Phalanx, which is the one after that. And we're back at Maria Bull. Okay. Let's go this way. Because we live in a donut world. Philgaia is always a donut world. Um, by donut, what I'm actually referring to is a torus-shaped world. So if you ever notice in a lot of RPGs that are trying to simulate a round world that you wrap around both north, south, and east, west, um, that shouldn't really be doable to speak of. And the reason why it works in this game... is because... oh, in RPGs, is because the world isn't round. So what should actually happen is, when you go up to the top part, you should come back down at a different location. Rather than it being, like, wrapping around to the south pole. That doesn't make any sense. Unless if your world is in the shape of a donut, or a torus. Then it actually does make sense. So I always like joking around saying that, you know, all RPGs are in existence in a torus world for some reason. Hopefully I'm not speaking too loud, I just noticed that it looked like it might have been peaking again. Uh, I really don't know why this keeps happening. This isn't the first time I've had this issue. Um, I'm starting to wonder if I should look into a different microphone, but this microphone's really nice. I don't want to. Ooh, there's lots of stuff over here. What is this place? Oh, Dark Reason. Okay, that explains why there's lots of stuff here. Because I've barely explored this landmass. Another duplicator. Nice. Up there is Holst, for reference. Hmm. 
Meow. Oh, sign. North, closed mine shaft. Yeah, that was the closed mine shaft, yeah. Sound sign. The hell am I saying? Uh, these are really easy enemies. I don't feel like getting status effects. Um, yeah, I think I can use the teleport orb go to blast. And grab the rest of these items. There's one up there. I don't think I can get there from here. Well, it might not be up there. It might actually be down here. Nope, it is actually up there. Not getting that. Oh, this area, I know it way too well. Why didn't I just run away? I have no idea. Or, you know, use that as an opportunity to practice with cannon. Don't know. My brain doesn't work in logical ways. Oh, it truly is all up there. No, I am not fighting gobs. Just, are you kidding me? You know what? Forget it. Teleport orb back to the hovercraft. I actually do need to be on the lower part, not the upper part. Do I have to go all the way around the landmass or something? Oh, this is how I got up. Derp. I am really tired. That's my only excuse. Even though I don't know why I'm so tired. I definitely slept. I slept nine hours. Which, holy crap. Even for me, that's a lot. You know. Really? Forget it. I'll get those later. <laughs> I actually want to go further north. I think this might be the side I have to go up. Nope. Nah, I can't get there from here. Doesn't help that Cannon has the worst luck right now. Why am I running back? I know that running away is based off of luck. Okay. I mean, honestly, I should probably be sleeping in an inn a few times and then get Ashley re-confused, or not confused, forgetful, but... Chronic, I keep forgetting about what the name of the forgetfulness status effect is. Ah, uh, let's see. Let's just go Roman. This is the point of the game that I usually like playing, is the one where I just start going exploring in a direction. Usually not even remembering... Okay, that's just a rock. This is Guild Galad, which is actually where we need to be, plot-wise. These also have very dangerous enemies. Crab Bubblers! Crab Bubblers! Do you have anything useful? Crab bubblers. Cribs. No, not really. You have satisfact stuff. Hmm. 
we're probably dead from this, but you know. Might as well. Zap. Yeah, they're not gonna go through this. That's right. I don't have I have a pickpocket guardian equipped on Luca right now. I was about to say, wait, why am I not doing damage? You also yeah, you're also just a rock. Okay. I guess I'm gonna go land at Guild Galad and progress plots. <laughs> Well, this area makes sense for it to have an item. It's probably right in the center of all these rocks. Who would have thought? It's just a bullet load, though. And while, yes, bullet loads are rare, it's not like I need them. I mean, I don't use Ashley. Zabats! What do you actually drop? Nothing. You're weak against dark. Okay. I'm pretty sure everything in this region is really dangerous. Preemptively heal cannon. Let's get some black gate going on. Oh, Lilka's too fast. Heck, Tim's too fast. Desperation! Oh, crap, that was... Really high attack bonus. Oh, boy. You can potentially one-shot things. You're dead now, though, so that's good. Okay. Note to self. Reasonably difficult enemies. Well, heal Tim. Tim can one-shot, though. And they'll be dead. They will be dead. They'll be dead. I can't speak. And it's worth a lot of XP and money. Not that I need the money. Yeah, if you can't tell, this game I am definitely not like poor at all. Not even close. The hell are you? Butt joke. Cool. Um, you actually drop cool things and you can be pickpocketed. You don't have any elemental weaknesses, I just need to not use Earth. So you're getting mittens. Kitten mittens, that is. I'm going to go on a wild guess and say that they're going to use physical attacks. We'll do that. We'll use this as a team building exercise for cannon. So it has a thousand hit points. Oh, I should just repeatedly cast shield. What the heck am I doing? Get cannon's defense as high as possible. Oh. Guess it wasn't worth that much. I'm, what I really need is just some big lug that takes lots of hits and is really strong against physical. It's at the end of that path, isn't it? Alright, the death tiles were the things that messed me up before, right? Death tiles drop really nice things. I want what it drops. I forgot to steal from the other one. And half against all elements. Okay. Uh, let's cast a protect on cannon. And a force point shift. 
Electric resistance increased by nine. Oof. Water catastrophe. I may need to kill one of these first. Because this is a lot of damage. If they attack twice, I'm pretty much bone. Might be able to take one out. Uh, they weren't healing often enough. Grumble. Just grumble. I'm slouching really low, by the way. That's the reason why I'm. I can lower the desk a little bit. That'll help. Um. can't even get over there. That requires a different means of transport than I have. More death tiles. Cool. I'm still hurting from the last set. First aid, get everybody's hit points back. Ooh, that doesn't actually fully heal cannon. I did not realize that. Ugh. Yes, please hit the other people. Thank you. Uh, still not enough. Just cast protect again. And first aid. Regular flame. High spark, ow. Alright. Drive cut, you'll be dead from that. Um... Hoping to get a new ability, but apparently not. Okay. What are you? Lucky card. Okay. Other items up there, and there's nothing to my right. I think that's about it for this area. Fine, I'll fight you. Force point shift. Well, dig out Peppy Acorn. Ooh, casting shield, that's a good plan. Water catastrophe, that hurts. You're dead. Drive cut. Um, Go ahead and heal cannon extra just in case. Oh, that actually is enough for full heal. 700 and something's the max. Derp. Oh well. What happened to your shield? Wonder if that counts as a magic attack now that I think about it. Hmm. I might need to math this. Although cannon sorcery is so terrible, I'm assuming that's not it. Yeah, for reference, Cannon Sorcery is lower than Ashley's, even though Ashley is three levels lower. She is the opposite of a mage. She is absolutely not a magic user. 
nomad, as it were. <sighs> All right, I guess we'll actually progress plot. What did I need to teleport to to get to here? Courtly. Oh, then that means that is not what I thought it was. Can I seriously reach there at this point? If I can, I absolutely apologize to the person who said that I... Is this where I think it is? It is! Holy crap, I didn't realize I can get here yet! I apologize to the person who said, you know, what about that thing to the northeast of um, Demson City, and I went, uh, that's just the teleport tower. I didn't think I can get here yet. This is the odd headquarters. This is entirely secret for reference. It's a card shop, like a tabletop card shop. This changes everything. Welcome to odd headquarters. Wow, this place looks so cool now that there's actually textures. The shop is convenient, but it's odd. Look at that strange mascot doll. Hey, what is it? Oh, you guys got an album coupon. Okay, here's the deal. I'll give you an album where you can see monster cards everywhere. The menu will say now say monster or er, album. Select it and then pick the card you want to see. Convenient, huh? So now we can actually look up the bestiary at any time in the game. They'll also tell us what enemies we've actually encountered. By the way, there's a lot of enemies in Wild Arms 2. What? I might try to fill that. Well, well, what's the matter? You feel like changing your name? I'll help you change your name. And two duplicator chests, which I do have duplicators. I don't see a reason not to use it. I have three of them after all. Odd sandals. And a scapegoat. What do the odd sandals do again? Increases encounter rate. Yes, that is something I wanted. And then there's this thing. It has dead batteries. We're going to need a tool later on to be able to move that. The later on part is the part that I was thinking we needed to be at, but apparently not. I just love this place. Okay, so we actually can get the album coupon at this point, or redeem the album coupon at this point. Cool. That was useful. That's actually what I thought the green plus was. I was getting mixed up as to where things were. So, Courtly, south of Courtly. <coughs> Which the desert is a lot easier to navigate now that, you know, I actually know where things are. Actually, let's go north of Courtly first. Because first off, there's a, um, Uh, which one call it a uh, personal skill shop? The Victorians were moderates. But they were executed on grounds that they collaborated with the king. Only one escaped. Guillotine, or guillotine, a young daughter who fled, filled with hatred for the Liberation Army. Sadness begets sadness, they say. It's just what happened, don't you think? So somebody survived the um, the French Revolution of Sleheim, shall we say. It is kind of frightening that Odessa is going to attack at some point again. You're the Armsmeister.
Uh, it's only near death. Just trying to see if any of these other ones might be worth taking right now. So I don't like the restore HP when going up levels because that's only when you level up, and so that's not all that useful. Restore HP normally on, and when a force level goes up, on the other hand, can be extremely handy. Especially when you're playing with characters that are just constantly bouncing force levels. You never need to heal them. And cutting special ability force use by one is not bad, but I can only uncut it by a total of three in this game. And that's kind of, eh, it's not really worth it. I'll probably end up putting points into that for somebody like Cannon, but it's going to be a bit. I have nearly gone an hour and I have not progressed plot. Nice. Just the way I like it. Ooh, Ambrosia. Anything in the salt flats? Oh, looks like there might be something this way. Ah, that's not actually in the salt flats. That's in the area by the subway station. Oh, why did I cancel that? These enemies might actually be relevant for XP for cannon. Yeah, it's in the area in between, which I can't get to right now. So, really? I actually grabbed everything in the salt flats? Oh. Well, on the plus side... Lightering... Lightering. So I have Turn Undead, and I also have Arrow Shot. I'm gonna show off Arrow Shot. It's still gonna kill them. Oh. Arrow Shot! It looks a lot like the other, only it's Light Element. Yeah, Turn Undead's a really crappy ability, usually, except in Slayheim. I think this is basically the only area of the game that we have so much in the way of Undead. There's a couple of enemies that are weak against Turn Undead that are notable, shall we say. Yep, there's nothing in the flats. I'm going back to the desert. Um, after I find the location and scout around the desert for loot... I didn't to cancel that. Um, I'll go ahead and save and courtly exit and start the next video. Uh, the, as you may have seen from the beginning part of this, this is actually only the next day after I recorded the previous three videos. It's because I wanted to play more. I felt like playing this game today. All right, let's start searching. Well, good skater. This is actually where we need to go. Coffin no 100 eyes. Maybe I should have actually kept it undiscovered. That would be easier for me to remember where it's at next time I do this. But I'm probably just going to stop and start. Actually, no, I'm not going to stop and start. That's right. Tonight's the night that I play games online with friends. So it'll actually be tomorrow. Hmm, I know how I'll do this. I will... Make a real save. Then I will continue and save state directly in front. And I'll stop it at the save state. But I'm going to make the real save here. Yeah, I haven't really done... Oh, no, that's the beginning. We'll do that. All right. Let's go ahead and get to the Coffin of a Hundred Eyes. Save state. Exit. And I'll talk to you next time, Internet. Hope you've enjoyed my random wanderings. Hopefully the audio is sounding better. I'm so sorry about that, by the way. And... Bye, Internet!